guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make when a sprite touches another sprite, it will make a noise or change costume. The first thing we're going to do is delete sprite one, which is the cat. Choose a new sprite and search for walking. I'm going to choose bear walking. We're going to put the bear in where we want it to start. And then we're going to choose a new sprite. This one's going to be a unicorn walking. There's unicorn two, unicorn and unicorn running. We'll use the unicorn running. Since the unicorn's going the other way, we need him we need the unicorn to face the bear. So what we're going to do is go into costumes and tap flip horizontal. Now go into two and flip horizontal again. Keep doing this until you're at six or whatever is the end of your um, animation or sprite. Now you're going to put the unicorn on where you want it to start. We're going to choose a backdrop, which is outdoors. And we are going to do the forest. What we're going to do now is go into bear walking and create a new script with the when the flags clicked. Go into motion and move 10 steps. Don't connect us to the flag block. Go into control and then get a repeat 10. Change this to 25. Now we're going to see that it will go into the middle. We're just going to take him back over there for a sec and go into motion and the go to X and Y will put it over there. It's meant to match these two. Now, drag it over the unicorn running. Change the go to X and Y to the one that's in there that matches this one, or just change the text. Now, from move 10 steps, tap move minus 10 steps. Now that we've got this, we'll see that when we tap this, they'll both go into the middle. Let's just take them back to the start. And take Unicorn back to the start. And we will get the Unicorn and the Bear to move. So what we're going to do is create another, we're going to create another script and go into looks. Get the next costume block. Don't connect it to the when flag clicked. Go into control and get the repeat 10 block. Change this to 15. Drag it into the unicorn running. Now she has the same. What you're going to be doing is adding the wait one second and change it to 0 0.05. So now you'll be able to see that they are running to each other. You will have to put them back together. Um, you'll have to take them to their original spots. Now what you need to do is when they touch each other, this is the hard bit. Tap when when the flag is clicked, or just drag it into the area. And you are going to need to make the, you're going to need to get the when, if then, and the sensing block touching mouse pointer. Now, 
you're going to need a forever. We're going to change this to unicorn running and the sound we're going to go into the sound library. Choose the sound and we're going to choose horse. You can choose, just choose the normal horse one. We're going to go back into the code and get the play sound horse until done. Now, it will make the sound when it touches. It'll keep doing it, so if you want, you can do that and then stop all sounds. Now, it will still do that, so you will need to, it will still do that, so you will need to do a forever. So now, it will do forever, and then it will stop. Thanks for watching, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment if you want to if you want any more videos to be on this channel and if you don't know how to do something technology wise. Thanks for watching and bye!